How's it everybody? My name is Philip and today I'm going to show you how to make a video intro like this one. Welcome back to Travel Talk, the channel we talk everything travel and I answer all your questions. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and you won't miss out on any more travel tips and advice coming in future videos. Lately, I've been getting more and more questions on how I made my video intro. It was very simple. All you need, some travel photos, any photos for that matter, a good soundtrack, and a smartphone. It's all you need, the right app. So what we can do, Let's go on the, on the screen of the phone and I'll show you how I've done it. Very easy, just a little bit of time and a bit of creativity. Open the PowerDirector app and you start new project. We will just type in intro for this example and we will wait for it to go on the photos. Select your folder and all according to folders on your smartphone and you just tap on the photos you want to select the plus sign will add it to your timeline and we'll just go through some of these photos it's all photos that's from my instagram account so don't forget to go to instagram follow me there so we'll select some photos and you'll see it automatically adds it to the timeline as you select them. Scroll a few more and you will also see it goes in increments of five seconds per photo. Then we go to the music, slide it back to the start, select again the folder that you want your song from and you can pick a song. If you like you can test it again just add the song to the topic to your timeline and then the photo itself you click you select the photo and then you can just crop it slightly so it fits in better what I do is just drag it with your fingers it's all smartphone so it's touch screen you move on to select to the next photo or what we'll first do as you can see on the timeline it shows the time and we can crop that off make it a one second long in the next photo crop that in all the selection buttons are on the left the more you use the app it'll also have a tutorial this is not a full tutorial on how to use the app but as you can see let's just speed it up cut the photos the timeline crop the photo so it fits completely in the frame and you can see if you drag out the timeline, it gives you more space. So you can see that photo is one second long. So for the short bursts of photo, we actually wanted 0.1 of a second long. Then the next one, you can go to 0.2, cut that out. So you would need quite a few photos. I'm sure you all have amazing photos that you can use and you just make it short you can obviously have it longer and having the track also depends on how quickly you want the photos to go through on the screen so these yeah, that one we need to crop in a bit so with that one and we just move through each photo cut it the length you want crop it into the size you wanted that one needs to here we go crop that one in drag it with your fingers you can move it up and down to the side so you get it all right and set up cut it we'll see where it all then you select the music track you can cut that delete the last bit 
and you can test it. So you can see it's, you need quite a few photos. This was just a two second clip. You can save your project. Always good to save as you go and then produce. I usually save it on full HD. Press produce and it'll render the video. Once it's rendered, it'll be saved onto your phone and you can press play now and see what it looked like. <laughs> You need a quite a few photos for a short intro, but it's really nice. As you can see, very easy and it won't even take that long to do it. Also, what I like about the Power Director app is you can add titles and videos. You can change color effect, the speed. You can put videos in reverse. This is not a tutorial on Power Director, but for a mobile phone, if you have a smartphone it's the best app to edit your videos on i use it all the time to make my own travel videos it's amazing i really recommend it to download it from the app store me i paid a few more dollars to get the paid version it just unlocks or you just have some more features available but if you just want to use the free download it's perfect so take lots of photos on your travel, get creative. I'll talk to you real soon again. Take care.